Okay, so today we're loading material. We're loading it out of a hill. It was quite a sharp hill. But what we've done is we've benched our way up, the whole way up. And we kept it straight, kept it level. Um, this cuts down on messing around looking for awkward bits to get. So we level the ground ahead of us. So all we have to do is track forward. Um, the machine is sitting level. Um, it's not rocking or anything, so that'll help you maximize your efficiency. Um, we're loading dump trucks today, as you'll see shortly. But we, we have a, every time we make a bench, we just make a ramp down each side, and the truck comes up, stops, gets loaded, and goes down again. So we got some higher trucks here, so we got to make the best of them. They're expensive enough per hour, so the more loads we get there per hour, the better. So just giving you some pointers on loading, how to bench a hill, uh, keep it safe by not having big sharp edges. So we got two and two and a half meters here in some spots. Um, so here's our first truck. We're waiting. We have our bucket full in the air waiting for him to come up. So as soon as he comes up, we're going to start loading. We've set it up so there's a very small angle from here to here. It's minimal. This uh, cuts down on loading times too. Maximizes efficiency. We're using a John Deere 7 or 4. It's a 450D. Got quite a large bucket on it too. So as soon as the dump truck stops, we dump our first bucket in. Small angle to our next one. And we got a large bucket. The key to loading quickly is using using your bucket the best you can. And there you got a mounted bucket. Drop it in. Now at this stage he probably has around about a road legal load. However, today he's not going on the road. So here's another one. This is the money maker here. And we drop it in. And before we're finished we beep the horn. This gives the, the, the truck operator time to put off his horn or put off his um, his brake and find his gears and stuff like that. So if we have any messing around, little bits to grade up or level off, we do that when the truck is gone. Um, we don't do that when the truck is here. We got to try and get him in, load him, get rid of him as quick as possible. So same thing, as soon as this guy comes in, this guy's got his tailgate open. Close the tailgate, and uh, there we go, it's closed. Surprising how uh, much these guys forget about it. But if you can watch stuff like that, it, it maximizes efficiency too, because um, there's no messing around waiting. First bucket. Second bucket. And the third one. So we're not doing any grading or anything, we're just getting full buckets and throwing them straight into the back of the dump truck. A lot of operators mess around and uh, they, they go for a lot, they're trying to grade the ground when they're loading trucks and stuff. Um, I'm leaving the ground level behind me, but I'm not wasting time grading it. I'm, I have a dozer here, the dozer comes in every couple of hours or every day or whatever, and it just runs around, trims up the area, so I'm lucky that way. But uh, a lot of operators mess around and do small bits and do actions that aren't necessary. Here, when the rock trucks are in, to maximize it, you do only what's necessary. By that, I mean the truck comes up. Slowly but surely, come on, come on, you can do it. As soon as he stops, we're dumping the bucket in. And the only thing we're doing is slowing around and getting the next bucket, taking the big chunk out. That's all we're doing. 
there are other bits of maintenance and you know squaring off and stuff that you'll do that take a bit more time like keeping this right hand edge straight for instance because we're taking wider than the machine but we don't do that when the truck is here we take this last bucket We keep the horn before we have the horn, before we have the last load in. So he's gone off pretty full. And it all starts again. That's a slower cycle this time, so I'm going for a third one. But I have time, there's no truck waiting for me. Here's the next one. ideal conditions or set up as best we can um, for safety for efficiency for handiness it's all the same and you want to make it easier on yourself too you're a machine operator you're sitting in this cab for 12 hours a day if you can do this in three cycles three bucketfuls it's way better than doing four because you're just making it harder on yourself during the day you gotta you're working a lot harder this way you make it easier for yourself, you're thinking ahead, you're turning on your aircon and listen to your radio. And the last bucket for Tom. just a constant line of truck so you need to maximize your efficiency if you do any messing around or stopping you'll just have a line of trucks waiting and it's hard to clear that line so this time you got to keep them going as quickly as you can no messing around I'll take an easy one this time from the corner still a nice big bucket Drop it in. Take the next one. There it is. Beat the horn. The truck goes. You gotta take the bit from the corner here. Builds over the edge, gets in the truck's way. And the next truck. So hopefully that helps you maximize your efficiency and keeps you going quickly during the day, makes it easier on you, keeps the trucks going, everybody happy.